These days, a uh, typical day as a product manager means that I'm not in the office at all. I'm somewhere, uh, somewhere on the globe helping people learn about CS4. Um, so I've spent a lot of time traveling lately. It seems like about 30% uh, of each month. But when I'm not traveling, I'm interacting with the users, with the developers, with the engineers on the team, uh, and working on getting CS4 out the door. Uh, we're obviously thinking about the future, as we always are. And uh, for what I'm doing, just spending a lot of time understanding pain points, things that work, things that don't work, so we have a lot of good ideas, yeah. So, lots of travel, lots of listening. We have a little hat, and you just pull out a piece of paper. And, you know, uh, we have a lot of different users. It's been 18 years now. A lot of different people use a lot of different things. Uh, in a way, an application like Lightroom has made it a lot easier for Photoshop because they are focused very much on photography, on professional photography. And so we can explore what Photoshop means to that relationship. So extended depth of field, uh, doing things better, leading by uh, giving the right tools, so adjustment layers or masks, helping people find the best way of doing things. Uh, but our users make it very easy for us. They, they explain the things that work better, they explain the things that they like, and they show us a lot about their workflow. And so as long as we pay attention to that, we can figure out where the features are. So there's the things we can make better, there are the things that are completely new, like content-aware scaling, and extended depth of field, and things like that. And then there's always working with other applications, working with Lightroom, working with the suite, uh, working with Flash, working with the web. So we're very lucky that we have a very passionate base of users that help us figure out what we need to do, and we listen to them a lot. Uh, so obviously, there are tons of features in CS4, uh, lots of things for lots of different people. But my, my very favorite things, things that I'm very closely connected to, are as soon as you come into Photoshop, without even having to understand what layers or masks are, which are non-destructive, re-editable ways of editing, you're just using those by default. They're immediately available to you. And if you have been using layers and masks, they're more powerful, they're much faster, uh, they're much easier to use. So I'm really happy to move all of our users to a non-destructive, re-editable workflow, much like they enjoy in Lightroom, uh, much as they enjoy in Camera Raw, and to put that right there in, in Photoshop. So a lot of things to be excited about. Personally, I'm excited when I go to speak to a photographer or when I go to speak to a professional, when I watch him do something, I don't have to hear him say, I think there's probably a better way to do this, because he's just using the better way by default. Uh, the first time I used Photoshop was right around Photoshop 3. Uh, the first time that I knew that Photoshop was going to impact my life was at Siebold in 1996, when I saw Kevin Connor, who's now my boss, show Photoshop 4. And I decided right then, uh, no more photography, that's what I want to do. And uh, it took two years to get to Adobe, but I'm, it's very nice for me to be able to work for Kevin and with Kevin, doing what he was doing then. So I remember it exactly. There's, there's a long list of things that I want to do. I have a, a list a mile long. Um, I get a lot of inspiration when I look at the other CS4 applications that do all sorts of really cool things like smart guides and linking and speaking to each other. Uh, I get a lot of inspiration from Lightroom and the way that they handle some things. Uh, there's, there's always so much that we can improve, but honestly, my list aside, the most important list and the thing that will continue to drive Photoshop is what our users say and what they want. So that's, that's really what I care the most about.